Hi everyone, this is the video to show you how to solve this uh, question which is involving the nature of roots of quadratic equation. Here I have one example in this, uh, solving this uh, problem. So let's read up the question. Find the possible values of m if the equation x squared minus 4mx plus 4m plus 8 equals to 0 has equal root. Hence, solve the equations. So you can start to try out this question before you uh, see my uh, solution. Alright, so now you may check, okay, you may highlight your equation and your important information, which this question says that this uh, equation, quadratic equation, has equal root. So if you have uh, this information, equal roots, meaning that you can start your solution by b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. The b squared minus 4ac equals to 0 means uh, your quadratic equation has an equal root. Alright, so and the b squared minus 4ac, we call it as a discriminant. So here is the conclusion, a, a, a brief uh, conclusion about the nature of roots. If your b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you have your d two different real roots. If your b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, means that you don't have any real root, means that you have a complex root, your quadratic equation has a complex root. Or if the b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, meaning that uh, our quadratic equation has equal roots. So since this question says this quadratic equation has equal root, so I will start with the b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. So before we start with the substitute of those values abc inside the b squared minus 4ac equals to 0, I have to make sure which is our value of a, b, and c. So I will copy again the question, the quadratic equation. And compare with my standard form of the quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So from here, I will compare these two equations to determine what is the value of a, b, and c so that I can substitute into the b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. So very obviously that here, I will see that the a equals to 1. The a is equals to the coefficient of the x squared. The coefficient of the x squared in my equation is 1. And the b is negative 4m, which is a coefficient of the x. And the c is my 4m plus 8, where this is a constant. Yeah, Look at our quadratic equation. The constant is 4m plus 8. So now I can start substitute the value of ABC in the B squared minus 4AC equals to 0. Okay, let's start. B squared B means negative M. Square minus 4AC. A is 1. C is 4M plus 8. Alright, equals to 0. Okay, I'm substituting the a, b, and c. Alright, into the b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. So now, trying to simplify. 16 m squared minus 16 m minus 32 equals to 0. Now you can see that. In this quadratic equation, which involves the m value, every term can be divided by 16. So I'm trying to divide by 16 first to simplify it. Equals to 0. Now we can start to factorize. m, m, 2, 1. Alright. So how do we factorize? We'll check. It is multiply 2 multiplied by m will produce 2m and the m multiplied by 1 will produce m so to get a negative m over here i need to take a negative sign for my 2m and positive sign for my m how do you get negative 2m you must have your negative 2 multiplied by m you got the negative 2m 
How do you get a positive M over here? You got to make it positive 1, make this positive 1, multiply by M, then you will get the positive M. So after you factorize, trying to uh, check, to try to expand and see whether you got the correct answer. M multiplied by M, M squared. Positive M multiplied by M minus negative M, you got negative M. Negative 2 multiplied by 1, you got negative 2. Yes, correct. So now I will erase uh, those things. From here, I will get my M equals 2. And the other answer is M equals to negative 1. So actually, we already got obtained the value of m, which is 2 and negative 1. Then look back to the question. In the question, there is a word hence over here. Hence, solve the equation. Alright, and the equations here, there is a s here, already give us the tips that, okay, hints that uh, we have more than one equation. Alright, so hence solve the equation, meaning that, you are going to substitute your answers, both answers, which is m equals to 2 and m equals to negative 1, into the quadratic equation. And uh, then we are going to solve it. So the quadratic equation given is x squared minus 4mx plus 4m plus 8 equals to 0. So now when m equals to 2, all right. So what will become uh, what will be our quadratic equation? When m equals to 2, substitute this uh, m as a 2, where I've got my negative 8x. Substitute the m as a 2, you will get a 4, 4 multiplied by 2, 8, 8 plus 8 equals to 16. We've got this equation. All right. So now we're trying to solve this equation. We'll attempt to solve x, x. All right, then 4, 4, negative, negative, x squared minus 4x minus 4x, you got 8x, negative 4 multiplied by negative 4, you got 16, yes, huh? after we uh, expand, we got the correct one, all right, so from here, we got x equals to 4, all right, this is a uh, equal root, you, get, you got only one answer, yes, which is correct, so when the uh, m equals to negative 1. Substitute negative 1 into the quadratic equation. Alright. You will have x squared minus 4 multiplied by negative 1. You got a 4. 4 multiplied by x. Okay. So you got a positive x. Positive 4x. Because a negative 1 multiplied by negative 4. You got positive 4. Plus 4m plus 8. M, again, substitute as a negative 1. So, you got negative 4 plus 8. Negative 4 plus 8, you get 4. Equals to 0. So, is this uh, can be... Then, after that, alright. We're trying to factorize. X, X, 2, 2. Positive, positive. Expand back. Yeah, you are sure you get the correct one. You got the x equals to negative 2. So this, both of these answers are the solution for the different m when you substitute inside. Yeah, that's all for the video. Thank you for viewing.